In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, everyone, for the celebration of the Eucharist. I am Father Thomas, Father Young Lee, Father Joseph Sua, Deacon Clement Buffo, and today we have readers, Loretta Vass. In today's Gospel, Jesus addresses the crowd. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. We ask God to grant us wisdom, to find treasure in God and not in glittering things in passing world. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, to my, you brothers my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly, have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts, thought, in my words, in, my words, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed to do, to do through, my my fault, fault, through my fault, through my fault, through my most, most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, I ask blessed, blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the all angels and saints, saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless, we bless you. you, we adore, we adore you. you, we glorify, we glorify you. you, we give we you give thanks, thanks for your great, great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, Lord King. O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father. Father. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Son. Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb, Lamb of God, God, Son, Son of, the of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. On us. You, you take, take away the sins of the world. Of the world. Receive, Receive our prayer. Our prayer. You, you are seated, are seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone, you alone are the Holy are the One. Holy one. You, you alone are the Lord. Are the Lord. You, alone you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ with the with Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory, the glory of, God, of God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestowed in the abundance of your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us listen to the word of God. A reading from the first book of the Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream and said, Ask what you would like me to give you. Solomon replied, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in succession to David my father. But I am a very young man, unskilled in leadership. Your servant finds himself in the midst of this people of yours. That you have chosen a people so many its numbers cannot be counted or reckoned. Give your servant a heart to understand how to discern between good and evil. For who could govern this people of yours that is so great? It pleased the Lord that Solomon should have asked for this. Since you have asked for this, the Lord said, and not asked for long life for yourself or riches or the lives of your enemies, but have asked for a discerning judgment for yourself. Here and now, I do what you ask. I give you a heart wise 
and shrewd as none before you has had, and none will have after you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. The responsorial psalm. Lord, I love your commands. Lord, Lord I love, I your, love commands. your commands. My part I have resolved, O Lord, is to obey your word. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Response? Lord, Lord, Lord I love, I love your, your, commands. your commands. Let your love be ready to console me. By your promise to your servant, let your love come to me, and I shall live, for your law is my delight. Response? Lord, Lord I, I love, love your, your commands. commands. That is why I love your commands more than the finest gold. That is why I rule my life by your precepts. I hate false ways. Response? Lord, Lord I, I love, your, love commands. your commands. Your will is wonderful indeed. Therefore, I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. Response? Lord, I love, I love your, your commands. Command. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. We know that by turning everything to their good, God cooperates with all those who love him. With all those that he has called according to his purpose, they are the ones he chose specially long ago and intended to become true images of his son, so that his son might be the eldest of many brothers. He called those he intended for this. Those he called, he justified. And with those he justified, he shared his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. The gospel acclamation. Alleluia. 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 Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which someone has found. He hides again, goes off happy, sells everything he owns and buys the field again. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he finds one of the great value, he goes and sells everything he owns and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the 17th Sunday of Ordinary Time. But I first want to begin my homily with a few questions. We know that as human beings, we all need something. We all have needs and wants. You might be as rich as anything or as comfortable as anything. You still have your own needs. Some of us might be looking for a good job Good family, good husband, good wife, money. And so assuming God appears to you today and tells you to ask for something, what are you going to ask for? Some of us might ask for riches, some for power, some for fame, some for good job. Some might ask for long life 
or good health? For me, at the moment, if God should ask me that question, I would say, God, give me the cure for coronavirus because I want it to be over. In our first reading, we heard that Solomon was faced with a similar scenario. God appeared to Solomon in a dream and told him, ask me for anything and let me do it for you. Solomon said, God, grant me a heart to be able to discern between good and evil. And we heard that God said, Solomon, you could have asked for long life. You could have asked for money. You could have asked for power or the lives of your enemies. But you chose to ask for the heart to be able to discern. Dear friends, it isn't that Solomon had no problems. No. He had problems. They lived in a culture where powers easily attacked different powers. And we know the Assyrians could easily attack. The Babylonians could easily attack Israel. So Solomon could have asked for military power against his enemies. But no, he asked for the heart to be able to discern between good and evil. And this could be our story also because when I first asked the question, what you will be asking for, we all asked for something material, something that will give us pleasure. But Solomon asked for this heart. And this heart to discern between good and evil is what spiritual directors normally call the gift of discernment. And in the biblical language, some might also call it wisdom. When we have this gift of discernment, then we are able to discern between good and evil. We are able to make right decisions and right choices. As human beings, we are full of choices. We have to always choose between this or that. But how do we choose? We live in a world where good and evil are normally confused with for me, good becomes good because it favors me, not because the action is good in itself. It is bad because it did not favor me. But that is not discernment. With a gift of discernment, an act is good because it is good, not because I think it is good or not because you think it is good. Good is good. But how do we know good from evil? We can only know when we have this gift of discernment, the gift to be able to make right choices in our lives. And that was the gift Solomon asked for. And this might be the gift that our world also needs today, that we don't confuse evil with good. We don't judge good and evil based on our selfish inclinations, but because it is evil, in itself or because it is good in itself, not because of what we think. In our gospel reading, Jesus presents us with a parable in which people had to make choices. People had to discern between treasure hidden in a field and the rest of their possessions. Another parable in which somebody had to discern between choosing fine pearls and all that the person possessed. But out of the gift of discernment, out of this spiritual wisdom, these people were able to choose that which was of greater value, the treasure in the field and the fine pearls. And we are told that that is the kingdom of God. And so dear friends, today we are also being asked to make right choices between our worldly pleasures, between all that brings us comfort, and between the kingdom of God. Which one do we choose? Can we let go of everything and let God be? Can we let go of all our possessions? 
all for the kingdom of God? This is the question to us today. You might at the moment be going through a decision-making process. There are a lot of opportunities or options before you and you don't know which one to choose. It's hard for you. But today we are being told that God grants us the gift of discernment. And with this gift, we will be able to make the right choices for our lives. With this gift, we will be able to decide well. And our heart will be the heart that discerns according to God's will. And so we pray today that God will grant us this gift of discernment, this gift of wisdom, and that we will be able to choose that which is of highest value, and that is the kingdom of God. May God bless us all. Let's kindly profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven heaven and earth, earth, of of all all things things visible visible and and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, the the only begotten begotten Son of God, God, born of the Father Father before all ages, ages. God God from God, God, light light from light, light, true true God from true God, God. God. begotten not not made, consubstantial with the Father. Father. Through Through him him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified at the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe believe in the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Lord, the the giver of life, life, who proceeds from the Father Father and the Son, Son, who with the the Father Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic Catholic and apostolic Church. Church. I confess confess one baptism baptism for the the forgiveness forgiveness of sins, sins. and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear friends, loving Father, help those gather here to love your commands. Hear these prayers we bring before you now. We pray for all nations, that God will raise up leaders for them who esteem wisdom, discernment, and right judgment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for world leaders that their lives be examples of the Father's love that others seek to emulate. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who have been called to do extraordinary things to keep our community safe, that their generosity, creativity, and courage will be fully appreciated. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We give thanks to those whose family life, partnerships, or friendships have been enriched in the course of the pandemic and pray for their continued flourishing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for the dead and those who grieve for them, especially Peter Jones, Luigi Mastroman Moro, Maria Antonelli, Winston Wudon, Maria Dangley Thielen, and those who have died due to the coronavirus, may their families be consoled in their time of grief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for Gwen Jackie, Margaret Brereton, Joan Robson, Ivo Pereira, Susan Edwards, Clem Larkin, Margaret Arundel, Iolanda Skiamana, Maria Nguyen Thicham, Anton Levanter, Anna Pham Thi Moore, Damon Nguyen Van To, Jose Hong Van Der, 
Thomas Tran Nguyen, Anna Cam Wu, and those whose anniversaries occur about this time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. Father, hear these prayers gather before you, and in your love answer them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of our human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God, God forever. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine, work of our human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash my knees and cleanse me from my sin. <clears throat> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the, the grace, grace and glory of this name, of name, for our, our good, good and good of all Lord his Lord holy church. church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life, and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to up the to Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God, for you lay the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You for man, in your own image, and set humanity of the whole world in your all these wonders, to rule in your name over all your maid, and forever praise you in your mighty works. Through Christ our Lord, and so as with all the angels, we praise you. As in joyful celebration, we are clean. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth full of your glory, your glory Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. In the highest. Blessed, Blessed is who comes in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord, Hosanna, Lord. Hosanna in, the in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, this all, of all of you and, and eat of it, for, for this is my body, body which, which will, will be, be given, given up, up for you. you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember those we remember today, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John Bosco, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with an in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but labor us from evil. Free us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power and, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of, the, of world. the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Grant, Grant us, us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear parishioners, we continue to pray for all of you. Stay safe and keep healthy. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, our Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.